This is WENY News. Good Thursday morning. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Cody Carlson. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Travel advisories and bans across the region have all been lifted. Most counties lifted their travel advisories yesterday morning. Subban County's advisory was lifted at 6 o'clock this morning. Also, Governor Cuomo has lifted all travel and tractor trailer restrictions across New York State. For the past two days, tractor trailers were banned from interstates, including I-86 and Route 17. The travel ban has also been lifted for Broome County. And even though advisories and bans have been lifted, please still take it slow out there. Well, the IRS isn't letting this snowstorm get in the way of some people filing their taxes. They have extended the deadline to file business income tax returns. This applies to any small business affected by the wind or snowstorms in New York. Senator Schumer asked the agency to extend the March 15th deadline, and small businesses now have until March 20th to file for a six-month extension without penalty. And New York Senate and Assembly have each released their budget proposals. The budgets compete over increasing tuition assistance for college students. Although both chambers agree on increasing investments in public schools, they also both want to increase investments in the state's aging water infrastructure. Top lawmakers and the governor will now meet to negotiate and work out the proposal details. A final budget vote is expected by April 1st. And State Senator Tom O'Mara is speaking out and endorsing the Senate's one-house budget. He says it calls for a strong commitment by the state for local water quality and infrastructure funding, and it rejects hundreds of millions of dollars in new taxes and fees proposed by Governor Cuomo. The Senate budget also includes $500 million for opioid addiction prevention and recovery. Well, Tompkins County wants your input on the growing renewable energy movement. The county planned a meeting for tonight. You can share your concerns about solar and wind energy systems and local regulation of those developments. The Department of Planning and Sustainability will share, those local, will share those thoughts with local governments so they can draft local zoning and site regulations. The meeting is tonight from 6 to 7.30 at the Tompkins County Public Library. And now here's Craig Flint with a look at your forecast. Hey, Craig, what's going on? All righty, uh, Cody, here's your forecast today. And we still will feel the effects of that nor'easter, which was one for the record books. I have some pretty interesting stats uh, to share with you coming up. But uh, once you get past, like, the morning, flurries and snow showers should quit. And then we'll have intervals of sunshine. Still going to be breezy and cold today, which will cause some blowing and drifting snow, uh, especially across the open countryside. Uh, with a high of 28 and a northwesterly wind 15 to 35 miles an hour. Partially clearing sky tonight. And with that fresh snowpack on the ground, temperatures will head down into the 12 to 14 degree land tonight. And the wind speeds by Friday morning will ease. It will be a cold start. Now, I mentioned one for the record books. In, in some cases, the nor'easter that we just had surpasses the blizzard of 93. Check this out in Binghamton. The greatest 24 hour snowfall at 31.3 inches. That means it is the snowiest season on record for Binghamton compared to last year when it was an all time record low for snow in on the season. At least this is for Binghamton. So things average out. Now, you may be curious about where we stand locally. Again, this is at our studio in Horseheads. We keep a tally. This year, 13 inches from the last storm puts us at 39.15 for the year. Last year, we only had 17 inches. That number is 200% of what we had last year from one storm. So that's... Pretty noteworthy, I think. So, uh, flurry snow showers over the northern tier through the morning taper some intervals of sunshine. I think highs today will make it into the upper 20s and low 30s. A couple of flurries and snow showers over the Finger Lakes tapering some intervals of sun. Highs 25 to 30. Watch for some blowing and drifting snow. There it is. Right there, that's the nor'easter. You can still see that kind of broad circulation there in the atmosphere moving away. Give it the old heave ho, get out of here. Now, we still have that cyclonic curvature, that flow of colder air coming in, so there are still some
flurries and snow showers early, but those will begin to taper because high pressure there will arrive as we head into late today and into Friday. Friday's going to be a pretty nice day. Clouds build in late in the day, but a high of 37, and then another system with some wet snow around on Saturday. Probably good enough for a coating to two or three on Saturday, 38. Scattered snow showers, flurries, and intervals of sun on Sunday, 35, and spring officially arrives Monday at 629 in the a.m. Clouds build a high near 40. Opportunity for some rain or wet snow around Tuesday. And by Wednesday, scattered snow showers and colder again with a high of 25 to 30, Cody. All right, thanks, Craig. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Cody Carlson. Have a great day.